This is Inside Yale Football, brought to you by Yale All Access. On Inside Yale Football, joined by Yale freshman quarterback Eric Williams. And Eric, first, kind of take me through um, the way you've seen this season start. I mean, it's pretty, pretty interesting, your first three games so far, and the 98-yard touchdown pass to Cam Sank was in the first one. But just take me through kind of the big picture of where you think things are through three games. Um, well, of course, we wanted to be 3-0. and um, but now we're sitting at one and two, and we, we are a little bit disappointed with our performance, but I mean, we are making steps of improvement, um, and offensively especially. Um, I, you, you could see it in the last game. We're moving the ball, it's just a matter of scoring, uh, getting in the end zone. Um, so that's, that's the biggest thing, um, but it has been a good experience. It was, it was a little bit nerve-wracking in the first game, but I've kind of mellowed out the past two games and I've gotten settled in, and kind of making the right reads and everything. Your older brother Sean played here, your older yeah. brother Scott plays here. What did you learn about Yale football from them before you came here? Um, basically just the whole rich tradition that is here, like just in Yale football is kind of amazing. Um, I, I kind of grew up the past I don't know, five years kind of wanting to play here in the back of my mind. Um, I was looking at other places, but I knew that this was kind of the place for me. Um, so, I mean, it is, they have a great thing going on here, and I'm glad to be a part of it. Are there any quarterbacks at the professional or – level that you kind of look up to and kind of model yourself after or just who you enjoy watching most I guess I would say definitely um I, I love watching Aaron Rodgers just because uh, he, he plays the game he manages the game very well um and he, he can also use his feet at times in order to get out get out of certain situations and everything but I also like watching uh Drew Brees too just because he's the mo most accurate passer in the league and he can put the ball where nowhere else can when no one else can so well, they had a heck of a game the other day, those yeah. two. Um, you talk about moving your feet well and using your feet well. I mean, the other day against Colgate, I mean, you were making some linebackers look like they were traffic cones out there. Where, is that instinct, or do you learn how to run that way? Where does that develop over time? I, I Honestly, I couldn't tell you. Um, I, I mean, I played wide receiver for a year in high school. Um, I, I think that did help out a little bit, just kind of being in the open field, seeing things. And then um, also basketball, I think, helps out a lot just kind of be able to have the field vision and know where things are coming from and be able to react, react to it quick. There's a proud tradition of guys who've spent some time at St. Ignatius in Cleveland coming to, coming to Yale. Um, talk about your time there. Oh, it was, it was a blast. I loved it there. Um, it was an all-boys school, which was kind of new for me. Um, but just the whole like, classroom setting and just feel there felt really good. And I, I felt like I improved as a student and as a football player. Um, more than I ever could have. Um, it was a great place for me. And Rory Hennessy, who's a former offensive lineman here at Yale and coached the offensive line there uh, last year, mm -hmm. told me that uh, there were some pretty intense fourth quarter comebacks against uh, a hated rival. Oh, yeah. Um, especially, we, were, we played them in the playoffs, second round of the playoffs, uh, St. Ed's. It was, it was a pretty intense game, but uh, definitely him, Rory, had, did a great job coaching up the old line, coming out with second half adjustments and everything in that game. That was definitely the most fun game I've ever played in yet. Um, hopefully there will be more, but it was, it was a blast. Talk about the weapons you've got on this Yale offense. It's almost like you know, a freshman quarterback starting the year. It's like the 16-year-old who's got keys to a Corvette with some of these <laughs> weapons you've got. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Um, I mean, on the outsides, Cam Sanquist and uh, Grant Wallace are just amazing. They, they know how to react to the ball as wide receivers. Um, you can put the ball anywhere around them and they'll, they'll get to it, even though they're a little bit undersized. They're fast. They know how to get open. Um, Austin, also, Austin Ruin, um, he's another freshman receiver. He's, he's picking up pretty quick. He knows exactly how to move and get open. Um, and then just in the backfield, too, Mo and Varga. Are, <laughs> you, you, can't really just, you can't really say how good they are just because Mo knows how to just make the right moves and get to open field, and then Varga can just run through people. Um, and the O-line is, uh, I mean, they know how to work, um, especially op in front. He knows how to control everything, and he's probably the smartest guy on the team um, in terms of just reading defenses and everything. Um, yeah. Was the experience any different on Saturday playing in the Yale Bowl for the first time compared to the first two on the road? A little bit, yeah. Um, but it, it felt really good. It felt kind of we were at home. Like we, we felt more comfortable um, offensively. Um, it, was, it, was, it was a pretty cool experience, actually. Um, I mean, it's a big stadium, so hopefully we can fill it sometimes. But, I mean, it was, it was pretty cool. Well, I saw you after the game. You were getting mobbed by some little kids who wanted, kept requesting autographs. That would have been pretty interesting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely. I mean, it, it is pretty cool um, just 
to have some people look up to you and um, I, I, I try to play that role um, for to be the person that people look to kind of for guidance um, in order to like lead people in the right direction. What is the best uh, maybe lesson or two you learned from from your older brothers in the game growing up? Uh, just stay relaxed. Uh, moving to the next play is the biggest thing. I, I know I've, I've thrown a lot of interceptions these first three games, and the biggest thing is going to the next play because uh, you, you can't really you can't change the past uh, no matter what happened. Um, so the biggest thing is just working on the next play, knowing your reads and making the right play. All right. Well, thank you, Eric. We appreciate the time. Yeah. Thank you. That's Eric Williams on Inside Yale Football.